so instead of just using the brushes that are installed, um, that come automatically installed in Photoshop, you can download brushes from the internet. Um, so there's lots of free sites for those. And I actually have some that you can install. Um, when you download them though, they have to be this ABR file. Sometimes it just downloads a photo. And so that kind of defeats the purpose. You actually need it to be a ABR file. So make sure you look for that when you download them and it's not just a picture. So once you download them, you can um, go into Photoshop and go up to window and go to brushes. Make sure that menu is open. Mine's over here already. Just going to grab that. Um, in your brushes menu, it's not your brush preset menus or brush settings menu. There's two. It's just brushes. So this one. You can go up to this top corner and you can go down to this. Um, so to go to the top right horizontal menu, go down to the import brushes option. And then you should be able to just go in your downloads folder and look for that ABR file. Or if I have the files loaded somewhere, go into Teams and download each file and just look in your downloads folder for that file. So I've in uh, I've put it in and you can see here it shows up in a folder in my brush, not the brush settings, but in my brushes. I've defined the folder with the trees. But now if you look, I have all these options for trees. Always remember to add your detail on a separate layer. But watch, I can use this in the eraser mode. I can use this in the brush mode. And there are these really cool kind of splatter marks. So I can go in and add trees and I can layer them up. I also want to make sure I go over to brush settings and like, you know, change it up so it doesn't look too repetitive. And once again, you just never want to um, drag these because they look super repetitive like this option here. So you can put your spacing down. Um, you just don't want anything to look unnaturally repetitive. But I could layer these up and choose lots of different colors and like stack them up on each other. And there's all sorts of tree ones here in this option. Try, so this would be great texture for bushes, trees, and things like that. So you gotta find the brush menu by going to window. If it's already open, just find it, go to the drop down menu and import brushes. And it's got to be that, um, was that an A? Let me see, what is the name of it? It's an ABR file. 